Um, I'm doing a VOD review of this guy's Anna gameplay. Uh, let me just start out by saying that Anna is really bad right now. It's pretty much the main thing. I don't know. It almost feels like it doesn't matter how good on Anna you are. Zen's almost always better. But, you know. Yeah. So, Moira kind of fucks Anna pretty hard. If if the Moira uses her damage balls, whatever the ability is called, because um, whereas Lucio can heal himself, and Lucio and Zen both heal chip damage fairly easily. Even if it is dangerous, as Zen get chipped, because you could like get pushed by Tracer after taking some spam. But you still just self heal without having to do anything. Anna has to give up her nade to heal herself. So if Moria does like 50 damage, Anna doesn't really like sitting on 150 HP. So a lot of times you, you're going to want to self nade if you take this much damage. If you took like 20 damage, then it, you, you probably don't. But here's the thing also the fact that they have a Farah, and if she's damage boosted, she one shots you. So, let's see, I'm, I'm curious what happens to this life, and then I'll talk about it. Okay, so your Hanzo just took out their Pharah with a headshot, which is really uncommon. Even at high levels of gameplay, but let alone in gold, you're probably not going to see Pharahs getting headshot by, by Hanzo as soon as the game starts. So most likely the Pharah would be coming to kill you pretty quickly. So, I think... Well, I you should you should have just naded as you should have self naded as soon as you, in general, because you took damage a little bit before the fight started. Like the fights, if you nade right here, the fight's gonna only start in like two to three seconds. So you can nade right here and then put all of your focus into the rest of your team. And your nade, like the fight's now starting in like two to three seconds after you would have naded. So. A lot of times, um, it's best to, to just instinctively look down and self nade there, because you're gonna get it back pretty quickly since the fight isn't going on. You and your mercy should be playing. I don't know why your team is playing like this. Like your your mercy should be playing next to you, and you're. I don't know. It's weird. The first, the first. Uh, person that you and your or like your mercy and you should prioritize healing each other more than anyone else most of the time um, unless it's like in a 6v6 you should prioritize healing each other more than anyone else the times when you don't prioritize healing your other support is when you have it's like a 3v3 or something like that and you have an, a DPS alive, who can theoretically clutch out a fight. Like if if you have a McCree and a Mercy alive, it's probably it might be better to let your. Like let's say you can only save one of them, hypothetically, it might be better to let your Mercy die because, especially if they have like a Pharah or something, that that. You you need your McCree to be able to clutch out a fight. Your Mercy's not going to be able to to do that. But it's different if, if you're playing Mercy Zen, because Zen also does... Zen can, can some, sometimes clutch out a fight, but Mercy really can't. But yeah, like, Mercy shouldn't be dying there. The first person you should be healing is Mercy, not Ryan. But you, you like, weren't even looking at her when she died. You were, like, healing your Zarya. Like, what happens here? You're healing your Genji when he's at, like, 150 HP, and you miss him. But, like... Your Genji's gonna be fine. This is another reason why Zen's a lot better than Ana, because you could have just put the orb on the Genji and then looked away instead of having to like take the time. I mean, obviously, improving your mechanical skill so that you hit people faster and uh, miss is obviously good, but you know, I can't really just say, oh, improve your mechanical skill. But yeah, that's all. Don't go for these sleeps. Just really don't. Like, just because I understand going for it to get the clip, but like, realistically, it's not worth it. 
As fucking hell, what the heck? Like, I do go for those I sometimes if I, like, I mean, I barely play on it these days, but, like, if I go for those leaps, it's only because I'm, like, recording or streaming, so I can understand where you're coming from, but, yeah, like, you're, you're kind of just letting your team die, like, your Hanzo's in your LOS and you just let him die, you, I don't understand how, why did you just shift, because of the Ferro Rockets, it was weird. I don't understand why. Did you just say, can I get a kill? I just got, again? I guess that was, that was kind of unlucky. That the Winston bubble was there. But could you even, could you have seen him from the side? you just say, can I get a kill? I guess this isn't really your fault. Yeah, that was unlucky. That was unlucky. It wasn't really your fault that much. Okay, you need to be telling your team not to stand it, because I'm assuming your Zarya is going to die here. Nice job. And she needs to not be standing in the bubble. Nice job, and I wouldn't I wouldn't even be playing on high ground here. Hitting shots from high ground as any, as like McCree, Widow, Anna, is, is like all, all those hitting shots from high ground is way harder than hitting shots when you're like on the same vertical level as them. It, it just is. Like... The reason you want to get high ground as hit scan, as like soldier, is because they can't LOS you. The enemy team can't LOS you as easily. But it 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 it's harder to hit shots from high ground. But a lot of times it is better positionally. But playing on high ground isn't here isn't at all necessarily better positionally than playing like some maybe somewhere far off to the right or like playing right here. Because Winston, there Winston could theoretically jump up here as easily as as he could jump you here. It would almost be harder for him to jump you right here than it would be for him to jump you up here. And another thing you can do is pick a spot that is kind of easy for them to jump on, but reposition every time. Like on Hanamura or some maps, like first point Hanamura defense or like first point Nubani defense. A lot of times after you win a fight. You can reposition because there's like Numbani, there's like two places for you to play pretty much the, the top left high ground and the top right high ground. Um, and you can just reposition between fights. Or like here, you could just play like right over there. Then the next fight, you could play back on that on the far left side or play right here. But yeah, high ground isn't really useful here. It's just, it's just making it harder for you to hit your shots. Yeah, and just for no reason, basically. And your Zarya was really lucky to live. Tell, and you need to be communicating to your team to tell them not to stand in Winston bubbles. Ordinarily, Ryan is a pretty bad nano target. But it's good that it was it worked out in this case because you managed to keep him alive. But ordinarily, Zarya with anything above like 40 energy is a better nano target than Ryan. The, this is this it, it worked out really well the the nano Ryan because you kept him alive and the fact that he could swing on the Orisa. So it did work out really well but yeah. Also um but yeah, unless your Zarya is at like zero energy, it's usually worth nanoing her. But then again, maybe gold Zarya tracking is inferior to how much damage a gold Ryan player can do, so I'm not sure. Decent sleep, but you didn't really say anything, so your team already shot him and woke him up. You're honestly surprisingly hitting shots, like decent shots, as Anna compared to what I would expect a gold player, like hitting shots on your Genji and stuff, but it feels like your awareness is kind of not... Like, you're kind of tunneling on people. Like, how did this guy die? Did it, where, where did, when did the Genji die? How did he die? 
which just killed him. He died like really quick. He's kind of playing too aggressive considering they have a Moira and a Winston. And also, like, yeah, I don't know. That was a good nade, actually. That was actually a good nade. That you hit both of them. You need your mercy to heal you 20 HP here, if possible. That would be a nice sleep if you could hit it, because it would take him out of the fight for a while. Uh, try to you. Um, if you, well, you should be. Here's here's. This is kind of like not really a, a your fault gameplay issue, but you're just gonna get staggered here. But if you were gonna take this fight. Like your Zarya is just gonna get staggered here too, and but now you're you're not gonna get another fight on this phase. But that that honestly is any rank below like GM. That's the type of fights you're gonna get because dying, walking towards the cart to stall until you die, and just just the stall isn't a thing at this rank, which I understand. But if you were gonna take this fight, you should have tried to farm Nano and Nano your Zarya or something. I don't know. But backing backing up isn't the correct play because you're just gonna get fucked. You you should have either gone to cart and died. Or nano your Zarya. She had high energy. But again, I don't know how effective nanoing Zarya is in gold, but that's the right play. I think it's probably pretty effective. In in general, nanoing any hero that doesn't have their ult, any like DPS hero, or like Zen I guess, but any hero that doesn't have their ult can be effective because, let's say, and if their ult's like decent, let's say you have a Zarya, right? Um, Grav is one of the best ults in the game. If you can nano your Zarya, and she can, she, if she's like decent energy, and she can get maybe like, well, she'll, even looking aside from the damage she's going to be doing, but looking at the alt charge she's getting, getting a good amount of alt percent off of that nano that she wouldn't have got without the nano makes the nano really worth it. Um, because nano is not an in, it's not an insanely good alt without it's not a, a good alt compared to like some of the other alts in the game. Like I'd put it a, a, maybe a little a, a little bit better than like high noon or something like that. Arguably almost on the same level as High Noon in terms of like how bad it is. Probably like a little bit better than Feral, but it's nowhere near as good as like Sword or Grav or something. So if you can Nano, you, you never want to be holding on to Nano for like a super long time. Because it's really not, not that good of an ult that you need to be saving it for the perfect chance to use it. Like, if it's just like a, if, 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 if you're taking a 6v6 fight, you should just be using Nano on one of your heroes that... Use your own judgment to, to determine whether it's a good time. Like, you don't need to be saving it for, like, Nano Blade or Nano Visor or whatever. Like, right here, you could just be nanoing your Zarya. Like, she's pretty decent energy. Like, using it using it after the after your team was already dying makes your makes your Zarya, makes it not as useful. That was questionable. Your Ryan just pushed in front of the Ariusa shield and just fed for no reason. Like, here, you could just nano your Zarya. I don't. I don't see why you wouldn't do that. She's really high energy. Oh, no. If your Zarya dies here, it'll be like really bad. See, like now you now you're forced into using Valk. Why would you nano? Like why would you nano your McCree here? Your Mercy used Valk, and they only have like three or four people on the payload, so you already won the fight. And now you ended up using High Noon Nano for no reason. All you. If if when you were all, and they push the payload to almost the end instead of just nanoing here and, and taking a fight. You want to be using nano before you don't want to for, like your mercy felt pressured into using that Valk because it, it was like four v four or something like that, and she could secure the fight win with the Valk. But then you ma you made that decision kind of bad by like nanoing your McCree, which wasn't really worth it because as soon as you valked, you already won that fight pretty much. Oh my god, that's good. Come on. Yeah, that one seems like good at diving. He's so good. Okay, uh, uh, just grab and like, uh, use a. Uh, Call me again. 
Um, you need to be splitting up away from the tire. That was lucky. Um, you kind of... I mean, this is kind of advanced, but I knew that he would have primal there. But you kind of just need to keep track of it. Like, you know that he hasn't used it in a while. So, going so out of position that you fucking are standing in the front in front of your whole team and their whole team's like right next to you and you somehow still don't die because the enemy team just doesn't feel like killing you. Just to throw a purple at a, at a Winston, who has Primal Rage isn't really worth it. Come on, get, be, better be huge. Is that huge? I, I didn't see a single kill from you. What? Oh, fuck. The first... Any time, you always want to be healing your Zarya over your Rhine. There's no... Like, yeah, I get that your Rhine's critical, but as soon as you see your Zarya taking any damage whatsoever, your shots need to be... Oh, I guess she was in the Winston bubble, so that was kind of his fault. But you need... Zarya, if Zarya dies, she loses all her energy. If Ryan dies, he just goes back to spawn. You know? Like, if Ryan dying doesn't matter nearly as much as Zarya dying. The fuck? Your team lost that? What the fuck? Okay, your team somehow choked that fight after your McCree flashed him. And that's like one of the reasons Anna's like bad. Aside from. Well. Every. Almost every tank, except for Roadhog, can cause Anna to, to not be able to heal her teammates. Like Diva Matrix, Winston Bubble, or Issa Shield, and, and it's if your teammates aren't aware of it, which they're probably not going to be in comp, especially at this level. Um, it's just putting orbs on them is a lot easier. Like, if both teams are playing a comp with Ryan, and your whole team is behind the Ryan Shield, and their whole team is behind their Ryan Shield, Anna can be pretty decent. Which is the time when Anna was decent. Like, I, why don't you? Why did? Okay, you can't nano. You can't hold nano until you start losing the fight, because you're not gonna want a nano three v six. What your team needed to be doing here is moving together to cart. Kill me, maybe? No. And it's like it's like you and your mercy are both so tunnel vision. You, you guys are just like sucking your Ryan's dick over here. And your Hanzo doesn't say anything about going up here, and you guys are like six stacking. So then, as soon as he dies, you and your Mercy, like, why are you walking over here? Like, what the fuck? Now you're letting the rest of your team die. And your Mercury's like, heal me, maybe. You can't fall back. You're not going to be able to fall back against their team. Look at their team. They're playing Winston Diva. You're not going to be able to fall back. But on the bright side, they're not pushing their payload at all. But, if they were decent, they would leave at least one guy on the payload. But it's still like... Like, you, you just want to initiate with Nano to make your team fucking go in and take a fight. But not on your Ryan. Like, here, this is a good Nano. Because he just swapped a Reaper, he doesn't have any ult, and they have a Primal Raging Winston right next to the Reaper. Nanoing the Reaper opens up a fucking... Like, he, he probably got like 50% ult off that. And it, it takes the pressure off of your team. Why are you waking him up? Oh, he was that weak, I didn't see. Um, I feel, before waking him up, you don't just want to immediately wake him up. You want to check if anybody on your team is, is, is weak. Because you have time to wake him up. Like, you sleep him? You, you, you saw when you checked over there that somebody was critical. If I was your Zarya, I would be fucking furious if you let me die here. With with high energy. It's just lucky that he didn't die. But that's that's a that you you want to use nano almost whenever whenever I see like low lower ranking players play Anna, the one thing. Almost nobody uses nano as aggressively as I would like. They all sit on it for way too long. I've never seen a player, 
I almost never see a player uh, use Nano too aggressively. Hold the top. You see where I'm shooting, Reaper? Uh, I mean, where? Up there. Hold up there and just wait for the. Because it's not Hold such a bad ult Hold that like here, here. you Hold on. Hold on. using it Hold is gonna fuck your team over. Like Genji ult could be worth saving. Like Genji ult and Grav can be worth saving a lot of the time. The only time you really want to be saving Nano is if you have a a combo with Dragon Blade or something. But even then, even if you have a combo, you you, you don't really you don't really want to save it unless you have to. You know, like if it's uh. If it's not like if it's Anubis or something, then yeah, it might be worth saving because you need one clean wipe on their team. Getting like a 4K n nano played would be fucking insane. It would be great, but unlike King of the Hill or something, you don't necessarily need to be saving it for na for nano play. You know, especially since. Shield, shield, shield. Zen and Mercy will both counter Nano Blade the exact same as they will counter a Dragon Blade. That was a good Nano. That was a good. That was a good Nano. Um, especially since since it'll counter a Dragon Blade as as well as they'll counter a Nano Blade, or like they'll counter a Nano Visor the same way as they'll counter a normal Visor. Uh, how the fuck are you guys losing? What? Yeah, I'm not talking about Nano. I don't. I don't understand what happened here. You purpled too early. You? Why? I don't. Okay. Well, you don't need to be following him in there. You purpled just the Diva. If you pur if you waited one more second to throw that, you would have purpled everyone in the grave in one. But the Mercy's healing every single person in the grave with their heals. I don't know if you saw the the grav go off. I don't think you did. You probably threw it at the same time as the Zarya threw her grav. Yeah, yeah, you did. That was unlucky, I guess. What? The one thing I've noticed about it's like look look at the past amount of time. Just look at what happens after you throw this nade. You just do nothing. Like right here, for there's like 10 seconds where you straight up just do nothing. Like starting right here after this reload, you just straight up do nothing for like a long time. You're just trying to get out of the Winston bubble. You solo purple the Reaper instead of, if you threw it at your feet right here. First off, you don't want to walk through the Winston bubble. You could have just backed up to the right and looked through the window and healed them. Cause there's a window right here. If you solo purple the Reaper instead of throwing it at your gr at the ground to save your Zarya and your Rhine and self healing, like right here, you uh, if you and you still would have got the Reaper if you naded your feet. So that was just a terrible nade. That if you used better, you could have completely won your team the fight. Oh, no, 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 There's no reason to hold up. You, there's no reason to hold up a right click on him. Like, actually, no reason. The left click is more DPS. The only time you right click is if you. If you're like peeking, if you're like holding it up while behind a corner and then peeking out for a second to shoot your right click, there's no reason to fucking do that right there. You always want to be left clicking in that situation. Like, what? Why are you just. You're just charging up right clicks, but there's no reason. Left click's always better for just pure damage. Oh no no! What are you doing? Hog. I think you're gonna be upset. 
I'm curious if the enemy team was also a 6 stack. I wonder if you showed it. If you had tab at any point. And also, a lot of the time in this game, you just have nobody discorded. Like, for so long, you just have nobody discorded. You always want both of your orbs on at least somebody. But, just like, yeah. I don't, I don't understand why you wouldn't have trance there, but okay. This is definitely a trance. I just skip to this fight. Like this is a time when you right click, when somebody could peek and then and then you kill them. When you don't see them yet, but they could be coming there. I don't understand. You should have just tranced. He, the tire only killed your mercy, but you could have saved every single other player on your team. The fuck is happening? You're just you just held it for no reason. That's it's it's like when I've played on accounts in like low rank, it was always weird. It's weird to me. Like I I just don't understand why. Like I guess it's like a lot of information is coming, but it's almost like you're taking breaks. I mean, this is a really common thing, but it's like you're making up for not being able to process all the information that's happening right now as quickly by like by like taking a break no. mid mid round like you put an orb on your orisa and then you just stare at her for like two seconds oh no I... like it's like eight apm is like really low like you just stare at her for like two seconds and it's like what and then you just charge up a right click and it's like the whole time you're getting stalled and then it's like you charge up a right click and then you cancel it by meleeing and you're like watching your Orion just die. So it's like for a, a window of like a while, you just actually did nothing. Like you put a orb on him, and then for so long you just do nothing. Like. And then realistically, all you had to do was trance. I understand that trance doesn't counter tire, but your, the tire was only kill, only killed your mercy. You you had a lot of people who were critical who were split up and wouldn't all die to the tire. You're just you're you're you're, you're forcing the right clicks way too fucking much. So it's like in during the fight, you're just like charging up right click and then canceling it with a melee or something like. Cause you, cause you, you need to put an orb on someone. But if you were just left clicking, it will, wouldn't be a thing. And of course, improving mechanical skill is a huge factor too. Like, but that's not something that I can just like straight up elaborate on. There's wh uh, what? Okay. Okay. That was actually. First off, if you're gonna be doing this, put a Discord orb on him. You can literally discord as your right click comes out, so that all the orbs past like maybe the first one will, will account as discorded. But the, if you're gonna fight him, discord him. And then you end up stacking support ults. And your trance literally did nothing. Like literally did nothing. Your chance actually did literally nothing. Because you were valking anyways. You st your mercy still has another res. Also, one thing I didn't mention is in a lot of these fights, you just you have nobody discorded. You always and you have nobody orbed here. You always want both of your orbs to be on someone. Like, if you had good discord and harmony orbs, 
you could literally never shoot as Zen. You could never left click or right click, and you 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 could play Zen better than 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 a gold level or like this level. You could never shoot if you, but as long as you had good orbs and and ults, you could you could get out of gold playing Zen. I'm not even joking. If you had good discords and harmony orbs, you always want um, discord on someone and harmony orb on someone. <sighs> Ammo management is extremely important as Zen, but it's even more important as Anna. This is you should have reloaded right here. You don't necessarily need to get to empty magazine before reloading. Because then, when you do have an empty magazine, you, when you do have an empty magazine, you might be in it. Why did you just walk forward? That was a fucking insane feed. You just like start walking over, and then you're like, oh, never mind. I just felt like dying for some reason. Like you're not Ruji Hong, but even if you sleep him, your other guy's gonna kill you. And even if you slept him, you probably wouldn't have your team. Even if you, even if you fucking slept a Reaper, or, or the Junkrat or whatever. Even if you somehow managed to live, it wouldn't even be the end of the world for the enemy team because your team just died. And if you had somehow killed both of these guys, which is best case scenario. And I don't even see how that's even fucking possible, considering all you had is a Mercy and an Arisa. But even if those two guys just died instantly right there, I wouldn't even have helped your team out that much. Because they would be spawning, and they would be back like a few seconds after your team showed up. That wasn't the most difficult sleep to hit, you just shot it over his head for some reason. I don't know why you aimed it so high. If you just shot it like a little bit lower, it would have hit him. If the Junkrat's spamming up there, you have two options. Either move, wait wait until he stops spamming and then cross over to the middles so that you're not in that, like, you can cross over to, like, farther along the platform so that in order to hit you at all, he has to spend a lot of effort. I don't know where the Junkrat's positioned, but, like, cross over all the way to the, to the end of this platform or just go with your team. But being up here would be a pretty good position. And and if you have good mechanics, you could even kill the Junkrat or do enough damage to him to pressure him off so he's not somebody you have to worry about anymore. I don't know. Your team's playing fucking Ryan Zarya or Ryan Arisa on this point for some reason. It doesn't really make sense. Winston's Diva, like, wait, Winston Diva is way better. But I guess it's not the biggest deal in the world. See, these nades don't really matter, though. Like, really. Hitting, j just because you hit that nade, it doesn't really matter that much. Because your team, what what are you, what is your team going to do? The Ryan's 400 HP and he can't be healed for a few seconds, so like it, it's not like it's the biggest deal in the world. I wouldn't nano the Ryan, I would have nanoed the Pharah if I was going to nano anyone. And then you feed. If you literally stay alive, if you stay alive, it's such a huge deal for this fight. But you just, for some reason, you just run up. The whole point of Anna is that you don't have to be in the fight to heal these guys, like Lucio or something. You don't have to be fucking standing on top of him to heal him. Or you don't have to be like on top of your Ryan, like Mercy would have to be close to him to heal him. But you just feed into the Reaper for some reason, instead of just playing back. You could just be playing on that back like stairs right here and just healing everyone. And you nano to your Ryan and he actually got nothing off of it. He got a kill that he would have gotten without it. He would have charged this guy regardless, and the Pharah ended up killing him. I would have just nanoed the Pharah if I was going to nano someone. And you forced your Mercy to burn a res on you, so this other guy, nobody, so she couldn't res your soldier or the other guy who died, I don't know. 
like your Orisa or your Soldier, which would have both been crucial. You purpled him and then you slept him, but see what's the point of that? There's literally no point because you sleep. If you purple him, you your your goal with purpling him is for your team to shoot at him in the next few seconds. So sleeping him so that he's asleep for literally 0.1 of a second isn't worth it when you could go for sleep on the Reaper or something. You, after you get up, it's like you just zone out. You're just like, well, I'm going to self-nade and then heal my full health Orisa when my Ryan's dying. That was a pretty decent purple. Okay, this is this is what I was talking about with ammo management. Because you wasted all your you used up all your ammo healing a full health Orisa and shooting a Reaper that's in Wraith form and healing a full health Pharah, you now when your team does take damage, not not only do you have to reload but the time on reloading when you're at an empty magazine, it, it's extra. The animation is longer than if you just reloaded with an ammo in your clip. So you never want to reload at zero. Like you almost never, there's almost never a reason to do that because it takes extra time to, to start reloading. And not only that, but you interrupted it right as your reload was about to end by throwing a random sleep for no reason. And then you didn't react fast enough to self made. And then you walked on a cart when you still had teammates who could have contested and you were 90 to nano. So if you just stayed back, you could have healed your Ryan and in like one shot he would have, you would have been able to give him nano or someone else nano. So that last fight was like insanely thrown by you, to be honest. Well, I'm not trying to like criticize you, but I'm, I don't know. I mean, I guess I am, but... Yeah, I guess that's it.